our guideposts around data governance, quality, discovery, compliance, availability, and security have modern tools that enable you to move more quickly. So in the quality area, you have data wrangling tools that allow you to get that visual view of data quality, build quality rules, and understand the current state of data more quickly. Those are good for understanding the data quickly. The next step is that codifying the output. So there's pipeline testing frameworks like SOTA data, Great Expectations, and Toro data that enable your organization to very quickly have code-based data tests alongside the code that transforms that data. So you may learn from Trifecta, Paxata, and you know, Paxata is now part of um, Data Robot, but um, what your current shape of the data looks like and then encode it in great expectations in order to say, here's what my data must look like. In order to tie that in such that that data is immediately discoverable, there's a whole cat category of ML-based data catalogs that learn about the data, not only from manual intervention to define documentation, but also understanding how people are using that data or the profile of the data. So Alation has really good capabilities around query log mining to understand exactly how people are using your data such that you can continue to find things that may need to go back into your pipeline testing. Then systems like waterline data provide you with the capability to take those black box data sources that you haven't seen before and understand them in a deep way. It has really unique uh, column fingerprinting capabilities that enable you to understand how your data might join together and what particular issues might exist while making that available and discoverable to a, a you know um, analyst user base. Next step is rapid exploration. So even before you bring something into a data platform, there's now tools that enable you to get in there and really take it to the next step beyond what you can get with the visual data wrangling tools. That enable that discovery to go to the extra depth where you understand the logic and you can get through that experimentation phase to understand what changes are necessary in order to get from your source code to your compiled output. You also have the ability to bake in compliance. And this is an area where I think things are maturing. So I, I separated out the ML discoverability focused data catalogs from the ML compliance focused data catalogs. I think that, that this is really starting to blend at, as we speak such that in the next year or two, you'll be able to get both the compliance side and the um, discoverability side within a data catalog product. And part of that is because some of these players are starting to blend in these data privacy tools that surface data privacy um, concerns along the way. And again, enable you to codify the management expectations around this, such that as people are developing data pipelines, it's not something that they have to come back in at the end and get, seek approval that they met privacy needs. It's something where it can be verified via test automation that that was happening and that you can scan and find areas where it ha has not happened and correct those. Moving forward, availability is all around ensuring that this runs on an ongoing basis and that you have the ability to see what the data looked like at any point in time. And that's really where tools like data band, stream sets, for data pipeline building, and then Prometheus for being able to build the observation into your data pipelines to see what's actually happening as they're running in production. Taking that step that I was talking about before of lean manufacturing principles, applying your tests to the data as opposed to just in the development process. And then at any point in time is now readily available to anybody, uh, you know, primarily in the world of Spark high big data platforms via 
the Apache Hootie project coming out of Uber or the Delta Lake project from Databricks. On the far right, access management is now manage, manageable as code using tools like Privacera, which has built upon the, you know, the foundations of Apache Ranger in order to provide codified data access rules. And one of their key competitors in Muta, who has taken that even a step further such that you can look at attributes of your users and attributes of your data and use that to combine to build the access management decisions at query time. And then in more widespread use, things like AWS Lake Formation and the, the new functionality that's being built into Azure Synapse Analytics are baking that into the platforms that everybody uses on a regular basis.